are standing on a very small island, as you can see. A tu dużo normalne. Duże pręgi. Hello guys, welcome to Survive Russia. So in my most recent video where I was hiking and collecting mushrooms and blah blah blah, then uh, I was mentioning that there's a lot of uh, of uh, modern equivalents to the old school stuff. And uh, by old school stuff I mean the wool thingies and all that good stuff. So this video is gonna be the video I was mentioning there. Because today we're gonna take a look at some uh, awesome, epic old school stuff and new school stuff from uh, my favorite online shop, Volus Deleka. Many of you know that. So uh, yeah, let's uh, just dive into it actually. So guys, let me start with one of the items I have gotten most likely the most questions about uh, of them all. And that's the fleece you always see me wearing, which is not very old school. You can say a lot of things about the uh, fleece and so on, but you cannot say it's old school really. <laughs> but uh, this is it. It was time to get a new one. So uh, this is a new one and uh, they have to be modified. I will point that out first. You have to modify them in some way. So uh, come over with the camera and we'll take a fast look at that. These thingies here on most, they're on most hoodies actually. They are not awesome. They can be split here and I will do that. Pop them out and uh, retie the knot which is uh, on the inside here, right? There's a knot in here. The reason I do not like them is that I have several times I've had these thingies hanging here when I was carrying firewood, for example, or with a backpack strap or something, and they will be, you will stretch the <laughs> elastic uh, cord is there, and it will just flip up right in the eye, and I've tried that, I mean, two, three times. It, it was so painful, I, I almost got aggressive by it, you know, it was really painful. I got so... So, uh, yeah, these have to go because you don't want to get an eye knocked out uh, in the middle of the forest. What I like specifically about these fleeces is that these pockets here, they ride up high. As you can see, they're not sitting down here, they're sitting up here. So that means that if you're carrying a waist belt or using a hip belt on your backpack or something like this, then uh, what have, whatever you have in the pockets will not uh, conflict with the belt. Each pocket has uh, inner pockets here for small items. They're nice for cell phones and uh, whatnot. Anyway, nice and useful. You can see it's already been put to use and uh, it burns really, really well. <laughs> That's all fleece does. All zippers here, all zip locks or whatever we call them, they are YKK. Of course, top of the line. Really, really awesome. Specific for this tire, this fleece here is the, the zip lock in the bottom. I have had other fleeces, do not have this feature. You have ventilation under the arms, nice hood. Except for these things here, that will smack your eye out really, really hard. So as I said, just remove these and uh, everything is fine. So that's basically the fleece, not too much to say about that. It's just a heavy duty fleece. I think it's uh, 300 grams a square meter or something like this. Pretty awesome. Next up, this sleeping pad is pure awesomeness. Because it's not like most other sleeping pads, so ground pads, so you can say. This is a Finnish army, actually, and this is a... Uh, I don't know how many places you can find them, uh, but uh, they are, what you can say, unique to uh, to Varus de Leica. They are from Savota. Savota is a really awesome company, and they make some really, really awesome and expensive backpacks. All this stuff here is made in Finland, of course. To begin with, we have the rubberized uh, outer, what is uh, laying uh, down towards the ground. And uh, this, of course, prevents the cell foam here from absorbing moisture and whatnot, right? The sides here, they are, they are quite nice, actually, because uh, you have a little bit of a clean space, so to speak, when you are laying, uh, sleeping in the forest. I have used this uh, in a hunting cabin and so on. I found this, uh, these sides here pretty comfy, actually. The unique feature of this uh, ground pad here is this material here. It's the gray material, you can see. It's a... Uh, sort of like a non-slip material, so if you're sleeping on a little bit of a slope, sort of like, then your sleeping bag will not slide off this uh, ground pad here. That is really, really awesome. That is one of the features uh, I really like about this, and this is why I got it, actually. 
Finnish army uses some uh, pretty good gear, I'll say, and uh, their sleeping gear are really, really good. Okay, so now we're gonna take a look at some of the items I call uh, modern equivalents to the old school stuff. Because this is pretty old school stuff, and it's all made of wool. Most of it is made of uh, from 100% uh, merino wool. All of this merino wool and all the merino wool that uh, Varustelika uses is uh, mulesing free, as it's called. If you don't know what mulesing is, mulesing is when they are removing uh, skin and uh, stuff like from the buttocks of the of the of the sheep. And uh, if you are if you are concerned about uh, if, if if your wool is, comes from sheep which are uh, we could say exposed to the joys of mule sing, then uh, this is no worry for you. Also why I show this stuff here is because uh, this gear here is from uh, Varustelika's own uh, manufacturing line, so to speak. It is uh, this... Serme... Serme suomin kilti kultis kaltis. This is, uh, for example, watch cap. 100% uh, merino wool, it's not even that expensive. So here we have a neck tube. This is uh, definitely old school stuff. And neck tubes are awesome, watch caps are awesome. And uh, why I'm showing this in the spring, where everything's supposed to be fluffy and warm and so on, that is that uh, long underwear, neck tubes and uh, watch caps or wool caps or whatever you can say, is a really good way to, uh, to get more out of your sleeping bag. So you do not have to carry a heavy sleeping bag, but you can actually, uh, dress up in some uh, rather light items and, uh, and your sleeping bag will uh, perform a little bit better. That is anyway my uh, uh, experience. So next up is the long underwear here. This is uh, yeah the shirt as you can see. This is the long johns. 100% merino wool, mule sing free as well. This is actually very very good stuff. You can get by with, uh, with polyester underwear and so on. I, I've, I, I, I have uh, used it a lot and uh, it works but uh, it certainly does not work as good as this. I was wearing this shirt here on the crazy hike to the hunting cabin and it was uh, not that warm really, right? And uh, I was only wearing this shirt here and my, uh, my canvas uh, hooded uh, smock. You've seen it before, the, the anorak thing, right? And uh, when you're hiking, hiking, hiking and sweating and so on, then when you're gonna stop and do some hunting and stuff like that, uh, then you're gonna get cold. Of course, only a merino wool long sleeve t-shirt and, and a jacket like this, for example, will of course not keep you warm standing still in minus five, ten and so on and so on, right? But uh, it was uh, about around freezing maybe a few degrees uh, plus C and so on. And uh, while being out there, I was actually surprised how well this uh, performed. This, this, this worked really, really well. So what I can say is that the, the merino wool underwear from Verustelika, which is from their own production, is certainly worth the money. And it's not that expensive. I, I don't remember the prices. You can look them up on the website. Serma Merino Villa Alusa Sut. My finish is almost fluent. Next up we have some socks here, because socks, they are extremely important. And I am, uh, this is my wife there knows, I am a sock nerd. I'm a sock fanatic. <laughs> There's no question about that. What we have here, for example, is the Finnish uh, army socks. This is the, I think it's also called the T05, or anyway, this is a Finnish combat. Uh, Suck. They're really tricky made because uh, they have stripes according to the size. So I know that this is uh, 45 to 43 with three stripes. Size smaller than that has two stripes. The size bigger than this will most likely have four stripes. So that's pretty awesome. But uh, these socks here, they just rock. This has become my new go-to socks. I mean, and I wear wool socks all summer long. This my wife also knows. <laughs> Here we have some really, really old school wool socks, also from uh, from their own line. And uh, this is most likely the closest you get to socks that uh, your grandmother would be sitting and knitting. These are really, really good. These I uh, actually used the other day when I was out hiking in the rubber boots together with a very thin inner sock. So here we have uh, another 
function sock or what you can say like a high quality sock this is not 100% merino wool this is 40% cool max 28% merino wool some polypropylene 7% polyamide and some elastane 5% made in Finland all the stuff here they not all of it actually I don't think the fleece is made in Finland but uh, other than other than that everything is made in Finland as you can see Made in Finland, made in Finland, made in Finland. Finally, we have the cap here. The cap is a Finnish M36. It's a reproduction of the old uh, M36. They also have the old surplus M36s. Uh, but this is a uh, new of their own uh, uh, production line, so to speak. This cap here is uh, also made from 100% wool. It's made in Germany. It's made uh, by a company called Lübstein. Lübstein is a very very famous uh, company which have been making headwear for the German army since at least World War One or something like this and they still make uh, headgear so uh, <coughs> very nice stuff. So this is all stuff that I uh, buy now and then from Rustelega. Why I'm promoting the Rustelega so much is because it's an awesome store and it's a unique store in the sense that they have quality stuff made in Finland not in some weird place far, far out east, right? Good stuff. You can say a lot about Finns, but one thing is that they make good stuff and they have a good sense of humor, which you will also find out in their item or product descriptions. Some find them sometimes a little bit too humorous, but uh, that's a Finnish guys for you. So guys, thank you for watching this Friday video. Please check the links in the description. Sub share, subscribe, sub bell, sub like, and all that good stuff. And until next time, get out and train and get it done. And see you next time here in Springtime Russia. Thank you for your time, guys.